Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Westeros Total War, Fire and Blood. House Targaryen, you know the deal. We've taken uh, King's Landing with Daenerys and her many generals. First things first that we're going to do, rally up our cavalry and attack King Robert. He will pay. It's just King Robert and some crossbowmen. <laughs> We shall show them there you go. Once we wipe out King Robert, in theory, you shouldn't have any, uh, Do not theirs, and you should just die. His faction should die out, I think. I'm not quite sure what the deal is with, uh, the Baratheon line in the Fire and Blood submod, so we're about to see. I think it depends on whether or not they've adopted any generals. If not, then Robert should die. And so should the rest of his faction. Still means we need to fight rebels, but... Where's he at? Over here. Oh, this ought to be good. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Squish. <laughs> Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Just need to be careful and make sure we box him in correctly. Last thing we need is Robert getting away. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Only Where's Robert and all this? Force remains. There's yeah. Nope, that's my guy. I think. Is that him? Pretty sure that is. Yep, there he is. Oh, you stupid fool. <laughs> the enemy army runs. There he goes. The King Robert of the Iron Throne is dead. The usurper All has fallen. Civilized peoples will be awed by the victory we have won here today. And whether or not that means the Baratheon faction is completely wiped out and we just have to deal with rebels, we're about to find out. <laughs> Made my job a lot easier, to be honest. Oh... Sweet, sweet justice. Sweet, gorgeous justice. No. <laughs> Goodbye, Robert. Daenerys has executed the usurper. And there goes his entire faction. I will make them fear you. Command me. My king. My lord. Move out. Okay, now we need to swoop into the Crown Lands and deal as much damage as we can. I've got Drogo here, and he's going to take Driftmark just because I can. But he's going to take Driftmark and then go attack this area here and hopefully deal some serious damage. I don't think Stannis has any ships nearby, so he can't go get to Driftmark to stop me. In theory. I'm not yours to command. Don't cops. We are sending Viserys over here to hopefully deal with these traitorous fucking dupe shit bags that is the, uh, that is the fucking Tyrells. There's a build a port there. Can I build any other ports or anything of use? Not really.
Build a diplomat, could use one. Yeah, that's about it really. We just need to move his areas in the next get, next thing and deal some fucking damage against them. What I'm gonna do though, if we get rid of some of these spear militia, because he's going up against the Tyrells, so we want it to be in top condition. May as well sacrifice some of the wounded troops that I don't really need in favor of some hardcore mercenaries. <laughs> Even though Viserys is an ass, we want him to be alive, I guess. He's still quite useful. It's kind of like Drogo. He's not my favorite character, but damn, is he a good general. Anyway, we'll go to the next turn and see what happens. There's not too much else that we can do. We've already ransacked the Stony Sept, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Oh, we just got Willow's Watch. Reminds me, build some troops. Rather have archers. Okay, next turn. I still don't get why the Tyrells betrayed me, although they seem to be fucking off now that Viserys is showing up. <laughs> I'll try and do what I can to get a uh, agreement with them. To the walls, our enemy has uh -oh. siege. <laughs> Stannis' ships have shown up. <laughs> Probably they'll take Driftmark if I'm not fast. Oh well. We still have plenty of time to take Driftmark and then bugger off and attack the Crown Lands. Yes, I shall build that. More income the better. Darry uh, seems to be still alive. If Darry makes it through this... I'm hoping they do. We'll, uh... They'll be rewarded with the Veil. The Varen, I think. Because the Arons have betrayed us. So why not give the veil to them? Someone we can trust. Leave your mercy behind, men. We shall show them none. Once we breach your will shall be obeyed. We march to our enemy's doom. A crushing victory! Yeah, take drift mark. They must fear us now. Leave behind some shoddy little unit that we don't really need. <laughs> hey, Darius taking Rook's Rest. That's cool. We'll take the rest of this. And we'll give this little section, the top section of the river, of the Crown Lands, will go to House Darry. As well as the Vale, they can have the Vale as well. Making them like one of my most powerful bannermen, most loyal as well. Because the Darius stayed loyal to the uh, Targaryens during Robert's Rebellion as well. An honor, Lord. Let's see if we can't talk some sense into the Tyrells. You will waste our time. You had best not. Why so serious, Terrell? No, okay. It seems the Terrells will not be making it out of this little predicament that they've got themselves into. Perhaps Hightower or one of uh, uh, Terrell's banner men will want the High Garden. An order. That guy get another archer. I will make them fear you. Get marching. Make camp here. Holders, my king. Men, march. Yeah, you better run, bitch. Mace Tyrell running for his life. Fucking little coward. See some Targaryen banners on the horizon and he runs like a little bitch. <laughs> Marching to battle with pride, Lord. Well, we may as well ransack this place.
Uh, reminds me, actually, we can probably stick... Yeah, King's Landing on very high. Get some plus income from them. Still need to take that area of... Uh, <laughs> thingy, because we haven't found Renly anywhere yet. I'm not quite sure where he is. Coming, my enemy. Once we breach the hey, wall, look, it's Rosalind Frey. Finished. Let me take their walls now, my king. There you go. Hopefully, we can get uh, moments to join in in a bit. When we have the troop numbers, anyway. Shall not relent, ever. Leave your mercy behind, men. Lost we a lot of guys in that battle. None. They deserved nothing less than death. These people will bow to you as their lord. I will make them fear you. You should fear us coming, my enemy. Still a few decently sized Order. rebel troops inside these Leave your mercy places. Behind, we shall show them none. A crushing victory. They must fear us now. They are broken. We are triumphant. I will make them fear. These areas along here will be given to uh, Dari. They've proven to be loyal bannermen. Pretty much the only loyal bannermen that I have. Coming, my enemy. We await your order to move. Which is quite funny. Shall not relent ever. Leave your mercy behind sort of in a ha way more than anything else, but none. still kind of funny. Hey, look, speak of the devil, I found Renly. May we meet on the battle. Although he's not alone, so we'll attack him with all of our troops. Minus one that we'll need to keep in the place. God be with us, men. We march to battle. Faith and courage have Killing two Baratheon brothers in one fucking part. And that's an accomplishment. <laughs> Just have to remember that the target is Renly. We need to kill Renly as quickly as possible. <laughs> and if he runs, we have fuck tons of melee cavalry. So we can just chase him and actually do damage. <laughs> Okay, group together our cavalry, which is mainly these guys and all the melee guys that we have as well. The infantry shall be sent in first to get Ronnie's attention. guy right down the middle to attack him. He can go around there and he can go around the left as well. This guy can sit on top of the hill if he likes. Same deal with him. Pelt Renly's and his troops from up top. Winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Where are you going, Renly? It's 
As long as it's random, we just want, don't want the fucker to escape. <laughs> The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. There he is, or at least one of his generals. Well, hopefully once Renly dies, that's it. I think. And that's of course he breaks through his little line here, which we don't want happening. Okay, we surround him and kill him. May as well stick it on time six. He's not going anywhere. There's his little friend dead, and there goes Renly. And assuming that Edric Storm's dead, which we know he is, because we killed him in Storm's End. Ironically. <laughs> then uh, Renly's faction should be wiped out completely, unless he's adopted any generals, which I don't think he has. Oh, sweet, sweet justice. <laughs> How many Baratheon brothers am I going to get to execute right now? What I need to do is capture Stannis now and execute all the Baratheons in the same part. Ah, uh, that, that would be the best. At least we don't have to worry about that place anymore. We'll go get it later, though. We will, of course, have to deal with Stannis later, but for now, I can't be bothered. <laughs> yeah, we go to the next turn and take our areas. Oop, the Lannisters. Oop, bollocks. <laughs> Uh, I thought Mace Tyrell had actually shown up to uh, fight me there for a second, but nope. Too much of a pussy. Now, if Viserys dies, I'm not that concerned with it, to be honest. <laughs> He's had a son or two, which is fine to continue the line. And uh, Danny's already got a son. And I prefer Danny to Viserys. He's in ours. It's the Mad King all over again, pretty much. That's <laughs> what that's asking for. Okay, they will be attacking me, so we shall use a defensive position against them. Just thinking, if we hide my cavalry over there, and get them to come to us. And my cavalry can swoop around at the last second if need be. Don't suppose I can get him any closer, can I? There you go, that'll do. Not particularly well hidden, mind you. Oh, actually, they are behind a hill, so it's going to be a little bit hard for to see him realistically, but... Yeah, if we move my guys over here. Facing the enemy, as it were.
This is all, of course, assuming that they're coming in the right fucking direction. Let's do this. Yeah, they are. So hopefully they'll come towards me. Well, in fact, we'll move our troops forward. Force them to attack my infantry line. And then we can flank around with the cavalry. Pull out my archers. There's no sense of them being in there like that. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Okay, not the most uh, excellent of entries, but I can deal with it. <laughs> Collapse the right flank around. Viserys, being the pussy that he is, will hide behind his troops. Okay, now we can grab all my cavalry units, which are way over here. The archers can pick off anyone that tries to leg it. May as well make Viserys of some use. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay, surround the general. The less Tyrell cowards there are left. The better claim whoever the hell I'm going to give High Garden to gets. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Oh, technically, these guys aren't Torrells. They're uh. Just your average Tyrell bannerman, but still. They decided to attack me, and that's the price they pay. That will teach the cowardly dog to turn tail and run. Come on, lads, let's get these guys back into position, shall we? 
We have another Tyrell army to deal with. The enemy have brought up more <laughs> Two, men. actually. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in skill. The enemy army runs. We Always with the sending the cavalry in to fuck up my arches. <laughs> Let's see them stand fast when they see all this coming towards them. <laughs> so seriously, they're completely fucking screwing up my formation. Just by sending fucking some cavalry in. <laughs> Okay, let's move Viserys in there for some moral support. Probably the fucking most screwed up, bundled, <laughs> fuck, uh, just completely screwed up my entire plan by the sending a little tiny cavalry force in. No, don't use that. I want you guys going over that side. You guys not getting stuck on a couple of fucking units that you're supposed to be going around. Come on! God damn it, cavalry is really fucking stupid sometimes. <laughs> right. Who's dead? Enemy general, one of them. Meanwhile, I have two cavalry units chasing those guys. Men are no, stick it on times two. We have all day. Like this, we will smash the enemy. <laughs> Only half the enemy force remains. Yeah, you run down all these routing guys. Well, I'll give it credit to their general who's fighting to the end in here. The enemy 
general is no true man. Please the field of battle. And mighty lord above. And there's his end. The enemy's general. That will teach the cowardly dog to turn tail and run. Pretty sure we've run down most of them. Never even heard of that fucking general before. <laughs> There you go, may as well as you times six. We've reached like the 30 minute mark now, so. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. All civilized people. Few of them left alive, the but we have won I couldn't here. bother running them down. We've reached the 30 minute mark, so. Although I probably edited it a bit, so it's a bit shorter. That's what I usually do. Cut out some of the boring shit. <laughs> oh, we've captured both of their generals. No, some rebel generals have uh, shown up out of nowhere. Beaten, we will have our revenge. I would rather have finished the job. Led by Oakheart. So come join me, man. There's no point being in the King's Guard anymore. You're, um, you're just join join mine. Join my King's Guard. We can all be friends. <laughs> Anyway, guys, we don't have enough time to put this battle into this part, so there'll be an annotation top right hand side. I will see you there. We're past the 30 minute mark, so. Yeah. When we come back, we'll do this battle and continue to take out most of the Crown Lands. Um, if the Tyrells are hell bent on going against me, and it seems that they are, we'll have no choice but to give High Garden to somebody more worthy. Maybe the Red Wains or the High Towers. Whoever bends the knee, truly. Anyway guys, that's all for now. Annotation top right hand side. See you there. Soul out.